the drug evolution. A Mountaintop News Digging Deep investigation. Here at Mountaintop News, we are continuing to look into the drug evolution, the changes the drugs have made in this area from oxycodone to fentanyl, which is the subject of our installment today. One of the biggest concerns is about the drug fentanyl and its deadly properties. In this second installment, we'll talk with people fighting to find a way to handle this most recent deadly threat. Eastern Kentucky is almost, you could consider it like ground zero for the opioid epidemic, you know, from the 90s uh, to where we are today, where we're seeing, you know, very dangerous drugs like fentanyl and carfentanyl infiltrating uh, opioids. Many times um, the uh, individual who is, um, you know, utilizing or using uh, illicit drugs may not know and many times don't know that their their drug of choice has been infiltrated with fentanyl and carf, uh, carfentanyl. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Floyd County Commonwealth's Attorney Brent Turner explains what he's learned about the difference between medical grade fentanyl and what's moving now on the streets. We were seeing heroin, um, then it started being mixed with fentanyl, and then now it's just mostly pure fentanyl, which is also being made uh, in labs. It's not the medical grade fentanyl that people think of, fentanyl patches, fentanyl drugs that were that existed that's a prescribable medicine. That is not the fentanyl we have. It is. Uh, being made in labs in Mexico with uh, chemicals and things from China and because it's totally synthetic you don't have to grow anything like you do for heroin with poppies or anything like that so it's actually cheaper and, and more plentiful and easier made to just make this synthetic fentanyl that they're sending him. Fentanyl. Fentanyl are killing people. It is unbelievable. We had another guy that was a defendant overdose this past weekend uh, on fentanyl. We saw last year, and I totally disagree with the report that came out from, uh, I think it's Health and Family Services, on how many overdose deaths we had in Pike County. Uh, that report indicated we were down like two deaths over the year before. But if you talk to the coroner, and I've talked to him quite a bit, I've talked to Tammy Riley at the health department, apparently how they uh, report this is information you get from funeral homes, which to me doesn't sound like a very good source. Uh, if we have people in Pike County, like, you know, places like Williamson, uh, you know, there's people from Williamson, from West Virginia coming over into Pike County, they overdose over here <clears throat> and they go back to Williamson to have the funeral, then we don't see that. As time goes by, we're going to try to learn, can we handle what's coming? Reporting for Mountaintop News, and for digging deep, this is Sheldon Lee Compton.